All right, guys, a friend of mine brought this RTX 2080 to me because he said it's running really hot. And this is a Palette Gaming Pro version. And he's saying that the hotspot temp is getting really high and the card's running way too hot. Now he has supplied us with some PTM 7950. So in this video, we're gonna repaste this card and see how much it improves his temps. He has actually upgraded to an RTX 3080. So what he's doing with this card is selling it on, but he obviously wants to sell it on in good condition. So let's pop this in the PC in the test rig and have a look at what the temps are. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and open up Fermark 2. And we're going to get a baseline for temperatures as well as like the score this card gets and see how the clock speeds are because if it is overheating it's obviously going to be down clocking itself we're going to skip the new version and then we're going to just run the benchmark 1080p so we can actually see that the hotspot temp is rising ideally you want the hotspot temp to only be about 10 degrees higher than the actual gpu temp which you can see above it. I believe realistically you don't want a hotspot going above 90. The actual GPU temp you definitely don't want going above 80 because it will start to downclock itself. Now for you guys that don't know, this is PTM7950 in this box. And what it looks like is basically just this. It just looks like a little thermal pad as such. But it's actually a phase change pad. So when it goes above 45 degrees it will kind of not melt but it will start looking like normal paste but when it stays under 45 degrees it's more like a thermal pad so it's a phase change pad basically and it is really good stuff you can buy this off aliexpress is it genuine probably not but is it cheap enough and good enough yes he bought this for about two three quid and that's enough or two three pounds should i say and that's enough for about two repasting two cards the GPU hotspot temp is now up to 89, 88, 89. So it's definitely running hot. If I fill the card, it's getting warm, it is getting toasty, but we are putting it under full load. But let's remember the score and the clock speeds and obviously the temperatures. And let's get the card repasted and have a look at them once again. If we have a look here, I took the card apart and you can see this pad has like, not only has it lost all its stick, all the others seem fine, but this pad has no stick to it whatsoever and it's folded in on itself. So I've just gone ahead and ordered some pads for this, or at least for this strip. And they're going to be here tomorrow. So we're basically going to cut to tomorrow now. And I've got a feeling because that, paste sure it's not completely fresh but it's not fully dried out and for the most part apart from up here it's got some pretty good coverage on it so i'll clean this up now and then i might just clean the board up and then i'm going to add a new pad in and be done because i think this was definitely causing some of the issues it was like folded over when i opened it it was like this so yeah
Right, we're in Windows now. We've got the 2080 in the PC. Just a quick thing as well, before we even go ahead and stress test, I do like to check Task Manager just to make sure everything looks okay at the start. Of course, we didn't have any issues with temps at idle, but if we had done something wrong when putting it back together and we're seeing 50, 60 on idle, then we know something's wrong pretty much. So from this, it looks like it's idle and fine. The real test will be, let's hop in Furmark and see what the temperatures are. Right, for some idea of what it was running like before, after the 1080p benchmark, it was running about 67 for the GPU temp and about 87 for the hotspot. And after about two minutes of just waffling on and the test still running, the hotspot was pushing towards 90. So let's have a look now and see what temperature it gets to. So we can actually see that the hotspot temp is quite close to the GPU temp, like it's not uh 20 degrees higher which isn't always a sign that it's there's an issue but um usually yeah you do want the hotspot temp to be roughly 10 to 15 above the actual gpu temp even our gpu temp as well has gone down a little bit about six seven degrees so i don't think the car was necessarily really overheating but obviously as well the thing to think about is that thermal pad full of vrms had like folded over itself so that couldn't have been good here we are here we've got the uh max temp at 62 but we let the test run for a little bit longer and just keep looking at this because it was pushing towards um 90c or it did hit 90c after a minute of the test uh, a minute after the test should i say um i can't remember exactly what our clocks and everything looked like before probably around the same I've seen some people say that hotspot temps can go up to 105C safe, but I've always thought, even with these older cards, you want to try and keep it below 90 for the hotspot for definite. You don't want the card getting too hot and down clocking itself at all. But yeah, overall, it's been about two minutes now. So two minutes on, in on the test. Our hotspot temp is definitely looking a lot more closer to that GPU temp, only about a 12C difference. And... Yeah, we're about um, 10C cooler on the hotspot. It seems like the, the actual GPU temp has remained fairly the same. But it's also important to note that we have put PTM 7950 in here. And it has kind of got a set in time where it needs to be run through on the PC for a while to be at maximum or optimal performance as such. Kind of like a set in time, basically. How long it takes for it to set in. But... Overall, from this initial impression, we've definitely seen an improvement on the hotspot temp and there's definitely no issues with this card. But anyway guys, that's going to be it for this video today. So just with a bit of PTM7950, definitely non-genuine from AliExpress, cost them about a pound. And we did have to put a new thermal pad on there, which we use some Arctic ones. I don't think they're the best in the world, but hey, a working thermal pad is better than a broken one. But yeah, if you're struggling with GPU temps, then repasting your card and obviously checking the thermal pads is always a good idea. But that's going to be it for this video today, guys. I'll see you in the next one.